Fa Mulan stood in the center of the village and turned round and round as the bits of fingers, the tips of tongues, the arms, the legs, the peeled skulls, the torn maiden heads, all whirled by. She pulled the loose gown closer to her body, stepped over the torsos in search of the one of her family who might still be alive. Reaching the house that was once her home, crushing bones in her haste, only to find the doorway covered with the stretched and dried skin of that which was once her father. Climbing through an open window, noticing the shiny black thousand-day-old egg still floating in the shiny black sauce. Finding her sister tied spread eagle on the mat, finding her mother in basket and pieces, finding her brother nowhere. The woman warrior went to the mirror, which had stayed unbroken, and let her gown come loose and drop to the ground. She turned and studied the audiographs that had long ago been carved into the flesh of her young back, carved by her mother who lay carved in the basket. She ran her fingers over the skin and felt the ridges where there had been pain, but now they were firm and hard. 